Hi, Lynn McDonald here and today I'm going to be covering creating and posting adverts uh, and quite importantly uh, protecting your Facebook account um, and that starts right at the beginning uh, when you set up your Facebook account uh, and you will have watched that video number one by now uh, if you remember we tell you to uh, save and edit your photograph, make it personal to yourself um, and I just use Pick Monkey, uh, which I'll show you further on in this video uh, but all you want is just a simple frame people do lots of different things and it's entirely up to yourself but for getting started I start with a simple frame and I've stuck to that uh, but it's entirely up to yourself another reminder Post in your own group first, uh, at least three to four products every day in your own group. Uh, now, if you remember back to setting up your own group, the reason for doing and building your group is you want to build an online customer base. Um, so the whole idea is to, to have products in your own group for your people that you're bringing into your group from the buying and selling groups. So you want to keep these products flowing for your customers so that one day eventually all you have to do is post products in your own group uh, for to get the sales that you are looking for. Save the product descriptions for posting in groups. So when I save a product uh, for my own group, I then save the product description, open up a Word document and save the product description and I'll show you that a little bit closer in a second. But a quick tip, familiarise yourself with the product range, the products, the prices, um, what's selling. So here we have the post that I was posting this morning. What do is edit the text, save it onto that Word document, uh, ready for posting in your groups. And you want to post in your own group first. Uh, you may post a product in your own group. Uh, like the pan set, there yeah, we see it there, and then select 10 of your groups and pop that in there. Now the reason I say 10 is if you're new, again this is how you protect your Facebook account. You don't post 60 of exactly the same product with exactly the same description all at once. Unfortunately, in the early stage, stages, while you're building up a presence and what we call a footprint um, with Facebook, if you've never posted before or hardly posted or hardly ever interacted on Facebook, then they will recognise right away an unusual activity of 50, 60 posts and they will flag that up as suspicious and you will end up with a Facebook ban. And unfortunately, this is ever so common with new distributors. We will have to build it up slowly, but surely. Uh, but don't worry, the more activity you do, the more activity you can do. So that's the tip. Post a few at one time and then so... For example, you may select your first product, post it in your own group, like the pad set here, go post it on 10 of your buying and selling groups, and then go back and select your next product. Now, we did cover selecting your product, editing and what have you, and setting up your Facebook group, but I will just give you a quick reminder. There are different ways that you can select your products. You can go to cleaneasy.com webpage, browse the catalogues, or go through the different ranges. Or you can do the same with the Clean Easy, uh, with the Key Life. And to be fair, it's a bit time consuming, but it also helps you to familiarise yourself with the product range, especially if you're new. And quite often in the early stages, the way I would select my products would be simply to scroll down and find a product that I liked and at a good price. At the same time, taking a note, good one for the garden groups, bulldogs, 
doggy things always sell. The other products that so that you no know, I can quickly find my products. However, there is, in my opinion, a much easier way of doing it. So you want to go to Clean Easy and put in your account number and user password. Now, before I show you uh, the next step of where you're going to find the products and the stock level, I'm just going to let you see what Harry does. I'm just going to type in top. I was going to put top 150, but it came up first. Now, if you're just setting up your group, it might be a good idea to chat to your sponsor about using some of the products from the top selling promo items. As you can see there, there are more clean easy products than K-Life products. Now, I will point out this is more than likely because uh, there are more people using the clean easy catalog door to door than are actually selling online. And a lot of people selling online are using K-Life exclusively. So that might be my first tip, is to have a good look at the top sellers and promo items, as I say, especially for your own group and especially the Clean Easy products, because at the moment I've found not many people um, are selling as many of the Clean Easy products as perhaps they could. They normally have lower prices, but higher percentage. But that's just a little bit... Um, of information on the top product lanes that you might want to use but I would always chat with your sponsor who is the person who introduced you and we're clicking here on order processing and we want to find browse products now you've seen in the top selling products that that 30 piece storage set was a top seller So all you do is search for the product. There it is there. You can click on it and save the photograph. Take some of the text. Now, this is another area to protect your Facebook account. Um, I don't often use a lot of text, uh, but some of the products, you need to give some details. Uh, as I showed in setting up your uh, Facebook group, uh, quite often we... An instance like this, I may copy the text, but then I edit it when I come to putting the product up. But today I've chosen the keepsake box. But before I move on, the great thing about this is it gives you the product stock level. You can save the photograph, you've got details about the product, and it's all done from the one web page. Box is what I want to. And there it is. So what I'm going to do pause for Facebook. Two photographs there, so I may use both of them. There's my two products. You've also got the product description there. Now in this particular instance, I would let the photographs do the talking and um, probably wouldn't use that. I would only use this part. It's entirely up to you though, but try not to use it word for word as I say that's another tip to protecting your Facebook account so I've just copied that just now to save me later on and I want to go to pick monkey now I want to edit the photographs photo 
photos for Facebook. And it's there. Now all I do is put simple frame on it, which is this little box here. Don't want it to be too thick, but it's entirely up to yourself. My preference is just to keep it simple so that the product stands out rather than the frame or any other things you may want to insert. Some people put their web address or web shop on at Linmax online shop. As I say, it's absolutely up to you. Replace the existing one? Yes, because we don't want to keep one with a frame. Without a frame, rather. Now, normally, nine times out of ten, I'm literally posting one photograph. And it is entirely up to you. So now I want to go to my own shop. And I'm going to now upload my photos. I don't put very much sometimes in the head and I just put things like this. I love this cute Winnie the Pooh keepsake box. And it will make a perfect gift for the new edition. It doesn't have to be war and peace. Copy it. Paste it for later on. And then post. And it's there. Now, if you've watched setting up your Facebook group, if you remember, we've saved our buying and selling groups to folders. And this is my West Lothian folder. So what I would do is I would post 10 if I was new. So I'm going to go to this one. Now, personally, I prefer start discussion one because if you're selling something people need to be looking to buy to go into that section to find your products where a start discussion everyone in the group gets the opportunity to see it but also um i find it's much quicker for posting uh, because to sell something you can't easily copy and paste it however i will say there are many people using the sell something and uh, using it successfully. So again, it's up to you. That is just my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload the photographs. Paste the text. Post it. I don't want to post it as a sale. I want to post it as a discussion. It is up to you. You may 
want to uh, post it as a sale but as I say I prefer to just post it as a product and then I would go back to my bookmarks and go to the next one and that's just keeping it nice and simple so you would post half dozen ten don't go crazy have a wee break now while you're having that break the time would be to go and select your next product you can either as I say scroll down there get some inspiration go through the products on the catalogues um, and then go to browse products and uh, like I did with the keepsake box or you can put in Davies. Let's see, Valentine's Day or Mother's Day. And the great thing is the stock levels there. Some of them are sold out now. Six hundred and ninety seven. You wouldn't want to put that one on. Win of the Pooh certificate. There's lots of different inspiration comes for doing that, and you get the stock level, so it's nice and quick and easy. So you'd maybe just go and uh, select your next product. Um, and on you go. Post your new product. And then select maybe another few. Start where you left off. Good idea to take a note where you left off. And just go through your groups, doing another 10. So, how to avoid Facebook jail. Just a quick recap. Edit your photographs. Edit the text if you're taking it from the products. Space out, post done. Do 10, then take a break. Maybe go look for another product for your own group. Interact on the groups that you're posting in with a like or a comment. You really want to create a presence and people getting to know you. But that also helps you to get sales when you create a presence and people get to know you. So as a, a dual effect there, change your posts so you're not posting 60 of the same product with all the same text all at once. For instance, I posted the marble pants set. I'm not going to post that on 60 groups. I'm going to post it on, I can post more than 10 because I'm not new, but I'm going to post it on some groups and then go to my second product, then post that in some groups, go to my third product, post that in some groups until I hit my target. Minimum of two to three products on 60 groups every single day. And as I say, it may take time in the early stages uh, simply to avoid the bans. Uh, but the more interaction and posting and liking and comment that you do, the more Facebook will allow you to do. And that will be covered in the next video, video number four, which is promoting your Facebook group.